And hello, welcome back everyone to some more Dark Cloud 2, aka Dark Chronicle. You'll notice I'm back in the bar. That's just because I missed uh, this idea, and I think it's a really good idea that we get it. Because it is the wheel. Ha <laughs> ha. That was so lame. Anyway, uh, yeah, I need that for an invention for Steve, although I'm not quite certain yet what I'm gonna make for him. I just thought I'd. Uh, show it off. So we'll quickly do that. And then I have quite the sizable update. I have been doing a lot of grinding. Well, not a lot, but a considerable amount. Uh, but first, we'll make this new invention. Put that in the book. Uh, that's it. So we want... What do we want? We want the wheel, we want the car, the cart, and the wheel. For this one. Do, 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 do. And yes, we have the Say caterpillar. Geez. So you could turn Steve into sort of a tank, but not a cool tank, more like a really slow, really freaking sluggish piece of shit. I don't really like the caterpillar, but it is an invention. It's something a bit different. You know, if, you, if you're bored of his legs, uh, then you could. In fact, we could make one, but that's a lot of scrap metal. And I think I'd rather spend that on actually making stuff for the Giorama, which uh, we're going to be doing, hopefully, in this video very soon. Um, I think I... Right, okay, let's, let's get cracking, shall we? Let's go to Sindane, and then I shall tell you of all the wondrous things I've done. It makes it sound much more exciting than it actually is. Uh, I, I replayed the first level of the Rainbow Butterfly Wood quite a few times. So, as you can see, we have uh, all of our weapons here, even Monica's, ready for building up. So we've got the, the wrench level 5, gun at level 4. Uh, I could level them up more, but I just think, you know what? I can't be bothered. I really can't. Uh, for the extra synthesis points, you know, that would be nice, but anyway, and I've actually looked up and decided on my weapon upgrading path that I'm going to choose, uh, at least with these weapons. Other weapons that I find, obviously, are going to do some, going to do some different things with those. But anyway, let's get ourselves a drill wrench. Yeah, look at that, now that thing, that looks painful. Mm -hmm. uh, so, and again, you can't actually... There's just the one this time as well. Alright, but it needs a lot of stats. Yeah, a lot of stats needed for that. Flame, lightning, scale. Bugger me. Anyway, trumpet gun, let's do this as well. And uh, I am going to go for this bell trigger. I don't know if... Uh, I don't know really... Oh, what was that one below it? I don't... Uh, I can't remember now. I did look it up, but anyway, no, the bell trigger is what we're going to choose. And as you may guess, yes, it is a gun that looks like a bell. Kind of. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Why the hell not? And for this one, I think I'm going to go for the lower option. So we want Cyclone, Smash and Flame. I think. I think that's the one I want to go for. Anyway, it's a charming gun made from a bell. Kind of cute, really. Yeah, it is, actually. I do like that design. Right, Monica, it is time for you to have your sword built up. It is level 7, so about bloody time. And it is going to be the Bastard Sword. Uh, I can't remember what stats. It must have been Smash and Beast. I can't remember now. Um, but yeah, we're going to go for this one. <clears throat> As I choke, let me just get a grab, uh, glass of water. So we get a bloody great big bastard sword. Whoa. Hmm. So for this one, again, I think I'm going to go for the top option. Uh, so beast and scale. Yeah, I think that's... That's good enough. Yeah. And finally... It took me a while, but we got her Magic Brasser to level 5 as well. And again, going to go for the top option, which is the Gold Brasser. 
So let's do it. And how pretty does that look? That's a damn bit nicer than, uh, a damn sight nicer, I should say. And uh, just the one option, just flame again. So, I don't think I have many flame crystals, no. Although I have got, you know, a good amount of items here. I actually bought myself a cooking stove. I thought you could invent one, but I don't think you can. I couldn't find a recipe anyway, so... We can roast fish on it, and I might as well just do that now. Because uh, I did do a little bit of fishing as well off screen, but not much. So you roast them on the cooking stove. Sorry. I always felt bad when I was a kid <laughs> roasting the fish. Aww. But anyway, uh, that will heal us if we if we use it in, you know, in a dungeon. Uh, my voice went really weird then. Went up really high pitched. Uh, I think it's because I've just eaten. I don't know if, <laughs> if I've swallowed all my food yet. Oh, nearly knocked me notepad off the uh, off the desk. I'm so rusty. It's been a few. It's been over a week anyway since I played this, and already I'm. Oh, fucking up. Right, so, we're in Sindane. Now, we haven't actually been to the future yet, have we? That's a quicker way of getting across there. You just go into the Jirama mode, and then, as soon as you see that symbol, that's just, uh, it's just a quicker way of going about it. So let's uh, let's go to the future, which, of course, is where Man... Uh, where Man I almost said Manica. That would be very nice of me. Where Monica is from. Do do do, and oh wow, I can see some chests. You know, I didn't realize there'd be this many already. So what? There's three. I guess we'll grab them. And there's one lonely chap over, over there that we're going to talk to. A potato pie. Excellent. Ah, which parfait, which is for Monica's defense. And a fruit of Eden. Brilliant. Oh, wow, another one. Another fruit of Eden. So it really does pay to, to check back in these future areas very often, or as often as you can. As soon as you do, like, a new bit of dungeon or, you know, build something new. I'm, I'm you know, I'm really not sure what, what governs it. If it is dungeon progress, or Giorama progress, but I haven't done anything in the Giorama, so it might, it might be a bit of both. But anyway, let's just chat to this chap. You know, lately it's been kind of lonely. Feels like something big's missing, you know? Anyway. Do 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 do. I love that bit of the music. Um, so he's, he's, he is very lonely here. It's a bit miserable, a bit dark, and a bit dim. Although strangely relaxing as well, so. Let's try and see if we can't restore this place to its former glory. Or its future glory, I suppose you could say. Oh my god, this feels so strange playing this again for some reason and recording it and talking and all that good stuff. I'll, I'll, I'll warm up eventually. I'll, I'll try not to be so awkward <laughs> next time. Right, so we cleaned up all the shit, didn't we? We got rid of all the logs and all the grass and crap like that. I did buy a few materials, so we should be able to build some things. Uh, we don't, however, have that many geostones that are going to tell us what we need to actually do. Uh, culture points are obtained just by completing uh, certain, you know, putting certain things in certain places. Uh, Forest Lake restored. Now, for that, I know for a fact we need 15 river pieces. Uh, but first, I want to make these uh, trees. Because uh, if we want Jurak back, we need to plant these. So the nose tree, we can make one of those. So you need one of one of each. As you would probably guess. So let's put the nose tree first, since that's going to be smack dab in the middle. I always found it weird uh, placing these trees. It's a little bit fiddly sometimes. I think about there will be okay. Possibly. Sort of center-ish. 
We can always move it anyway, it doesn't matter, it's not set in stone. Or set in grass. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, eye tree, I don't think it matters which way these trees go, although it could do, so I guess we'll find out. Plonk you there. I always found it creepy as well that when you, uh, let's say for example we, we move, look it's following us! It's freaking creepy! No! No, Jurak! Stop it! Or baby Jurak, I should say. Right, eye tree number two! Plant Q right about... There. And I think we want the river... Uh, right in front of it. So, how many rivers can we make? We want 15? Do we have enough for 15? Ah, oh, just not enough. We need more water elements. Shite. Well, we'll make 14 then, we'll place these, and then I will pay Condor another visit, because he sells those water elements. Um, so, I actually don't know which way... I don't know if it matters massively, as long as the river is close to Jurak, and there's 15 of them. I'm not really certain the layout specifically matters too much. But we'll try and make it look neat and presentable and, you know, pleasing to the eye. Aesthetically, you know, it's nice. <laughs> uh, that's looking that's looking symmetrical, isn't it? Uh, I guess we'll put some here as well. And... Uh, oh, it bugs me that we can't put one there. I might try moving the nose tree eventually. I don't know. Ah, right, okay, we've ran out. So, I'll quickly head back to the train, grab some more materials. Oh man, we are flat broke again. I actually decided to, uh, along with the water element, I bought a bit more hay, stacks of hay, because we definitely will be needing those. Um, you stop looking at me! Stop it! It's unnerving. Right, so let's build this final piece of the river. Uh, oh, wow, we we have actually restored the withered tree. Which uh, will be, obviously, the, the nose and the eye trees. So, let's make this river, and we might actually... I'm not sure, does... Hmm. I am not sure what else we need to get Jurak. So, we'll place this river. Eh, uh, put it about there. Usually, when you exit, after doing something like that... Yes, there has been a change in the future, so now there might be some more chests, but at least there will definitely be something new to see. So... Uh, and really, I don't know if I can do anything. I mean, I know I need to make uh, some... I do need to make a wooden house, so I could do that. Um, but then I think we just need more geostones, so it's going to be more dungeons, I'm afraid. Let's just chuck this wooden house somewhere that, you know, it'll feel safe and secure. Uh, maybe just next to the river? Uh, we'll plonk it there. I've never really done it this way. I usually have the houses sort of near the entrance, but... Yeah, I think it'll, it'll be okay there. Uh... So nothing has actually changed because of that house. I think it's because we need to move someone into it. As you can see, it says it's vacant. Uh, however, I still don't think I can recruit people. I went back to Palm Brinks. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's not letting me actually recruit anyone. So maybe I need to just get Jurak before we can start recruiting people. I really can't remember. Let's go have a look at this, uh, this new future. See if much has changed. Sometimes you unlock things like shops and uh, quest idea items. Oh, wow. Okay, so... That is the withered version of Jurak. As you can see, he's sort of asleep. Looking pretty dead right now. Um, so, funnily enough, this place is called the Jurak Mall. Uh, fine. Any new treasure chests? Or is it dungeon-based, I wonder then? Who knows? I really... I have no clue when it comes to this game. Sometimes, I'll tell you what. It's a mighty big nostril. 
Okay, so not really much did change at all. Um, so I suppose, yeah, I haven't got enough geostones really, so we're gonna go grab maybe one or two more and see what happens. I think the next one on our list is, uh, I'm a Pixie, so gonna be some new enemies. And we can show off our new badass weapons that should be a bit, uh, well, more powerful than they were before. I know that's so fucking obvious, but uh, I don't know. Uh, I could still, well, I need more crystals. That's what I need. I need crystals and money, because I have very little of both. Although, if you do get a lot of a certain type of crystal that you don't really need, you can sell them, and they do sell for a decent amount. Uh, oh, yeah, this one's got a seal on it, so it's just going to be max on this one. Which reminds me, have I actually repaired Steve? Did I repair Steve? I don't know if I did. He's got quite a bit of experience now as well. I could have got an upgrade for him. Like, upgrade his, uh, his core capacity or something. I don't know. Have I even bothered to make the freaking uh, barrel jet, uh, jet pack? <laughs> Energy pack yet? Because that would be, you know, kind of something I should do as soon as. Oh, look, pixies. Oh, yeah, I completely forgot. I did get a scoop off screen. The, uh, the man-eating grass picture, which showed it laughing. Now, I don't have proof of it because I stupidly forgot to save it in the photo album. But it is a really simple scoop to get. It's it's one of the easier ones. It didn't take me long at all. Poison. Ugh. So, yeah, I'm sure if you are stuck getting that one, the internet is a wonderful thing. Google and all that, but it's uh, it wasn't you know that amazing. And I can't even think of any inventions that it's used in. So I don't know. But it's you know increasing that photography level. So they're definitely worth doing. And it's nice getting the map straight away. Know where I'm going now. Oh, hell no. Uh, what should I do? Gun or wrench? Let's see what the wrench can do. Now, you see, I don't like it when you kick something like that sometimes because it doesn't do you any favours because it can leave you open. I, I don't know. I always found that I always prefer to back off a little bit and use a normal attack instead of the, you know, the kick in the nads. Oh, my word. I'm guessing there's going to be a fair few mimics on this level. Oh, you bastard. we got to be careful, because we can't rely to, you know, switch into Monica, eh? I actually equipped some bread in my inventory as well. Uh, let's see if I actually remember to, to actually use bread. Instead of going into the menu and then realizing, oh crap, it's not in there. <laughs> so, you know what, instead of the camera, let's hover over the bread. And that way I can accidentally use it when I don't need to. Sounds like a plan to me. I'll come back for the other chest on the way back because we're going to have to. Anyway. Oh, some lovely looking sturdy cloth. Another pixie. I don't mind these guys. They're quite weak to Max's uh, old bell trigger. Oh, we've uh, we got full fuel, have we? Oh, you know what? I haven't even bloody used these yet. More defense, please. And the same moniker. And... Um, oh, they both got the same, so one each. Perfecto Mundo, 56. Lovely jubbly. Right, let's get rid of that map. I know it, it, it kind of bugs me as well, but it's so much... It's so more useful than the little map in the corner, I find. God damn frickin' mimics. You know what, I might have to use Steve for this one. Ooh, yeah, they are tough, though. You don't want to get hit by one of them. No, thank you. 
Right, so now we can work our way back. You know what? I am going to use that bread. Oh look, a pissy little battle wrench. No thanks. Probably going to sell that, to be honest. I've already got one of them anyway. Oh man, it's been one hell of a week for me. I've just been so tired all the time. There's no energy whatsoever, hence the lack of videos. And There's uh, not really much more I can say about it. That's, that's the only reason. No energy. I'm sleeping far too much. Ah, exit key. Beautiful! Ah, do we have any treasure keys left? I know I did use some off-screen. I don't think we have any now. Oh, bollocks. No, we don't. So, we could force it, but you know what? I'm not that desperate for whatever's in there. It's probably something like a power crystal or maybe a sword for Monica, but at the moment, I'm, I'm fine weapon-wise. Really not that fussed. And nighttime falls in the rainbow butterfly wood, and yay! Destruction crystals! Oh, I remember back in the day, you know, a couple of videos ago, not getting any of those bastards. And now we've got a healthy supply of them. Uh, I do need more flame crystals, though. Now this, I reckon this, uh... This medal for killing all these enemies with items on this map in particular would be quite difficult with the yeah. pixies being pretty pretty hard targets. I do believe that's the title of the Van Damme film, isn't it? Hard target. Not actually seen it, but a mate of mine, he, uh, he, he freaking loves that film. I mean, <laughs> it sounds pretty shit, but yeah. boom. Maybe I should give it a go. Good bit of cheesy 90s, I'm guessing? Could be late 80s, I suppose. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not actually that big a Van Damme fan. Try saying that three times as fast. Ow! I did like him in uh, The Expendables 2, was it? He was a pretty good bad guy in that. Um, let's sort these items. I hate sorting my items when I've got an exit key, because then you've got to bloody find the thing. Uh, right, I need to repair... I need more gun repair powder. Holy crap! Um, oh yeah, another little thing we got was uh, a stamina drink, which bestows energy, a temporary ability boost, which... I don't know if it makes you invincible. It's been a while since I used one. But they definitely increase your damage, so... It's very nice. I think I got it from a clown. Happy Clown Super Amazing Special Time thing. But anyway, yeah, Van Damme. I, I don't know, I mean... I suppose I've just never seen that many of his films. You know, I was always more of an Arnie guy, but... Maybe I, maybe I should give Hard Target a watch. If anyone's seen it and, you know, let me know what you think. <laughs> I've not watched a film in ages, actually. What was the last film I watched? Uh, probably Logan, actually. That was that was a couple of weeks ago now. Been meaning to go see the new Alien, but I just haven't got around to it. That's the Geostone, that's what we're here for. Nice. So, uh, for Z uh, I almost said Zidane then. <laughs> Wrong game. Sindane, I think we need a wooden house, which we already have, and maybe three, two or three straw houses. Although we can't make those yet, unless that geostone will grant us the, uh, the ability to do so. Uh, can't be that many more enemies around. Weird enemies, these. Such a strange enemy compared to 
you know, the other things in this forest. You got sunflowers, you got, you know, crazy plants, and then you got that thing. I've not really gotten it an adequate description for it. That takes care of you guys. Good show, Maxi boy. Blue seal has been broken. Yellow points on the map. Yeah, Why does it always tell me that? I mean, come on, by now I think I know the deal. Uh, so, I suppose we could do some fishing, but... Uh, I'll probably just do that off-screen before I leave the dungeon. Um, unless... Hang about. Is there any wood decent to fish? And you can technically fish in these areas, but they're very narrow, and... From my experience, it doesn't work too well. How many fishing points do I have? Let me just check. Because I did do some fishing. Oh, I can increase two stats. Um, well, we'll go for luck again, I think. Grip, maybe? Hmm. See, I don't really know what these stats do. I mean, flight, that's pretty, you know, self-explanatory. And strength, I suppose. Resilience, so the line won't break, but... Grip and look are strange. I think I'm... No, I'm going to go uh, for two in look. Yeah, I, I don't know. If someone knows more about that, please tell me. I've never really looked too much into it. Uh, in fact, I can't be asked fishing. Let's just leave. And I reckon we'll, we'll quickly nip back to see if we can make any more straw houses. Any, any straw houses, I should say. We haven't really made one yet. I just want to get Jurak restored as soon as possible. Because if that does unlock the ability to recruit people, I'd like to start doing some of that as well. Do, 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 do. So let's return. And you never know, more chests might have uh, popped up as well in the future. Come to think of it, I haven't really been through Palm Brinks searching for any more of those chests. I wonder if uh, if there's going to be a few lying around there, maybe. Uh, what am I doing? Oh, going into autopilot. Right, another water time. This throw to mine. Needs moisture. Right. Okie dokie, let's see. Download the Geostone. Yay, straw house. And a shed. And a rough wooden fence. Bench. Tailor shop restored. Alright, that actually gave us a lot. And we've already got 25% complete. Now for Elder Jurak, what, what is that last thing? I really can't think what that could be. I know we'll need to make uh, some fence... Some fencing for around the Furbit's house. Mm, could be like 15 fences as well, I'm not sure. But we'll probably need a lot more rolling logs, yeah. Hmm. Can I make a straw house? I can make one for now, okay. And I think I'll just have to go searching for some more bloody... Materials and money. Now we will definitely need that. And some stairs. Can't remember if the wooden house should go on top of that or if one of the straw houses. And I don't know if it matters. I really don't. I just know I've always had them. And an iron chimney as well. Okay. Yeah, I need more materials. So for now, let's just place. Let's draw a house somewhere over over here on the periphery and hopefully eventually we can get some people to move in um, yeah I'm thinking the wooden house should be on top of that stand so let me just chuck that about I don't know here uh, some stairs so we can actually get on top of there Clean up the house. And plonk it back on here. There we go. That's looking quite nice, isn't it? 
So, analysis still 25%, yeah. So, hmm. Gonna need more materials and more geostones. So, we might as well just do quickly another dungeon. See what we can get. Um, oh, before we do that, you know what? I will just quickly check in on Cedric. And see if we can't upgrade Steve in some way. Maybe giving him, you know, the next core or some defense. And uh, actually, before I forget, can we make this freaking energy pack barrel? Ah, oh, more rolling logs. Right, well, I'll go buy some of those from Conda. But first, let's uh, repair Steve. Upgrade the ride pod, and then I'll take Cedric with me again. Um, yeah, improved core. Heart component, assemble your own robot design. So, 900 XP, we do have enough. Let's do it. So, the next one is 1400. So, what does that actually do? Does that just increase his capacity? 50 out of 90, yeah, I think it does. So... Yeah, and the core defense, as you can see, is only 24, so maybe... Uh, you know what? I don't... Yeah, I'm, I'm really not an expert when it comes to Steve. I've never really thought about it too much. I've just done it, if you know what I mean. So, quickly... You know what? I'm not going to cut this out. We'll just go to Conda, buy the logs, make the energy thing, which should give him some more health, so... That'd be, that'd be pretty nice. How much money do I have? Oh, not much at all, but enough to buy some of these anyway. I'll buy ten. Do, do, do. I need money! God damn it, I need money. Do I have anything I could sell? Apart from the crystals. Um, nah, we'll just... We'll keep going. We'll keep going through the dungeons. Energy pack barrel, please. Yes! Let's equip that on him. Uh, I definitely didn't have one before, so here we go. So he has 80 at the moment. If we exchange... He now has 120! Hooray! So that is our first upgrade for Steve, really. Uh, I do need to get a different weapon for him, though. Could get the cannonball arm, too, because we did invent that, but I don't... What materials do I need for that? Silver ball. How expensive are the silver balls from Conda? Can I see your balls, Conda, please? How much are they? Guessing they're going to be quite expensive. 200 each, holy piss. Yeah, well, that's going to have to wait then, isn't it? Oh, Christ. <laughs> wow. Okay, well, at least Steve can take a bit more of a punishment now. A bit more of a beating. So let's quickly repair him again. And then Sedders, me old chum. You're coming with me. Right. Let's uh, head off, shall we? Back into the woods. Legendary killer snake. Ooh. Attack and defeat all enemies using the ride pod. Could go for that one. Maybe? The fishing goal's quite small, 49 centimeters or more. I'll have to try that one. But this, this dungeon's a bit different because there's going to be two exits. But we can only take one right now. The second exit is going to come into play quite a bit later on in the game. fact. Alright, okay, so there's going to be a cobweb somewhere. Um, oh, elementals. That exit there could be the one that's sealed off. I mean, it looks to me like it is. So we won't be going to that one, I think. Anyway, let's try this. Uh, let's try and get this medal. This is me with Steve. His weapon isn't crap, even though it is the basic weapon. It's still doing a lot of damage to these things. 
so I'm not sure if I want to wait until the next chapter before I really focus on giving him some new weapons. Because obviously in the next chapter there's going to be new ideas we can find and new inventions and we're just going to get better stuff for him anyway, so maybe it'd be worth just waiting. Because we're not desperate for, uh, you know, damage output on him, it's still pretty decent. Come here, Mr. Sonic Bomber. Sonic Bomber Man, ow. Good job I got plenty of Ride Pod fuel. I think I may be needing it. Never think. I don't know if I've ever used protective crystals. And if I have, it's usually been way, way later in the game when I'm uh, basically maxing my weapons out and I just want them, you know, not to break. Yeah, that's definitely the exit we want to be using, the Sun Exit. And here we go, the legendary Killer Snake. Age hasn't slowed him down one bit. But he couldn't, he couldn't deal with us. He just couldn't deal with the might of Steve. This would be a nice fishing spot. I must remember. Ow. I want to be using Steve. But getting around, it's just a little bit too slow for my liking, so... Please give me some gun repair powder, if you can. Bread's nice, but... Hint, hint. Could, could definitely be using some of that green... Bag of goodness. No? Okay. Copper. I suppose it'll come in handy, but I want repair powder, goddammit. Oh, okay, which... No, nothing down here, just a chest. Magic crystal, magic crystal. Oh, look at that! Excellent. And in fact, now that I think about it, the geostone... Oh, it's somewhere else. I thought it might have just not loaded in, but no, it's... <sighs> it's all the way somewhere else. Ooh. The Sonic Bomber! Boosh, boosh. Come on, stop it with your spinny attack. Cheap. Just to be on the safe side. Hit him. Thank you. We found a chill stone. Stone definitely has chill. I'm going to leave that. Uh, coin toss thing. I'm not really in the mood for a gamble today. Map would be nice. Okay, no. Holy crystals. Why am I swapping to Steve? There's nothing around. The item I really want to make for Steve is uh, the buggy, but I don't think we can make that until chapter 3. Possibly 4. I can't remember. Oh, wow. That's another new enemy, isn't it? Ooh! Tell you what, a bit close. Is that a ram enemy? Because if that's the case, I think that might be. I oh, know it's a. Oh, but he does charge. Ow! Holy fuck! I'm not sure if he's involved in a scoop. Which reminds me, I've not really been checking for them. I need to go back to see Donnie. So every now and then, he'll come up with some new ones, but... Oh, fuck! Didn't see you, matey! You came out of nowhere! Oh, shit. No, don't need to switch. I need to refuel... ...and repair. Sneaking up on me like that. I know you look like a ghost, but 
seriously? There's just no need. Right, I think we found the cobweb traps. But yeah, the chill stone that we picked up is uh, really just for throwing at enemies. You can spectrumize it, but just like the flame stone and all the other stones in the game, they don't really give you the three stat bonus, they only give you two, so it's it's kind of pointless. Unless you're really desperate. Come here. Can't be that many more enemies around. Is there just the one snake in this level then? We don't have the exit key, do we? No, we don't. So there, there must be another snake around that has it. I'm sure that's probably going to be the case. We got the Geostorm! Yay! Give me the map, please. Thank you. Gun repair powder. Ah, right, pod fuel. That's all right, though. We'll take that. Right, where am I going? Oh. All the way to the other end of the bloody map. 